Okay, let's go here. This is a match from the champion of Drusina tournament. It's an internal clan tournament between Drusina clan members to determine who is going to be the champion of Drusina for 2021. So all participating clan members, they uh, sign up to compete and they play each play each other in uh, best of five sets and uh, Whoever is uh, top two in the table, in the brackets, after all the sets have finished, uh, will face off in a longer set of matches, like in best of 11 or something, to determine who will be the champion. So here we have the current champion, Adolf, who has picked Teutons for this one on Arabia. Uh, playing against Lipe182, I'm, I'm just gonna call him Lipe, third onwards, who has picked Lithuanians, so both fairly mobile sibs uh, to excel especially in uh, in um, melee units and the units with a strong cavalry to back it hey thanks for the follow cases belly looking forward to playing your team when we are able to schedule it for the league of empires So nothing out of the ordinary here for the start, people bringing in their boars and the uh, village accounts look fairly even as well. Lipe almost has the potential for a full wall here, he has the cliff down here so he could use that as part of his wall and there's the berries and woodland. Berries forward though, not ideal. Uh, main gold in the back so he's lucky to have it there. Then there's a section towards the north here which he could uh, consider using as a wall somehow but that's going to <coughs> take some Dedication and resources to complete though. Adolf, on the other hand, as Teutons. Teutons have a fantastic boom, so you may want to wall up and play it uh, kind of safe as Teutons as well. Uh, could certainly be an option to get to the late game power spike with uh, knights or paladins or whatnot, and uh, siege with the armor that they get from the uh, unique tech of Teutons. But that remains to be seen, of course. Adolf's base looks a lot more open here is a huge section here for him to cover he could wall between the resources and kind of save himself though but let's see how this plays out is the second rhino in the back is brought in the elephant now so he won't be laned here by leap let's have a look at the scouting intel as well Although wolf at the minute four and a half already going forward here trying to scout leap his location so that I guess when he's found all of his resources, he's fine to do so. His uh, scouting looks on point here, but it also could give signs of some uh, early aggression to happen here. So I think Lipa was just passing here. I don't know if he saw a little scout or not. He may have been just passing it there, either intentionally or not here. So here comes a little scout. Sees that Lipa does not loom, but uh, doesn't engage in any attacks here. Goes pretty close to the TC here. <clears throat> so let's see oh what's going on here we have some forward movement nothing less than nine villagers here going forward So, we have a TC drop on our hands here, has nothing less than Teutons, Teutons advantage, more space inside the TC, you could garrison more villagers and you will also be firing more arrows. Now let's go back to normal game speed by the way, <coughs> I just wanted that little Benny Hill team to fit the game action. 10 villagers inside. Dealing serious damage here to the Lithuanian TC, and Lipe chooses to commit actually to repairing with one villager here. He reaches the fuel age, he's defending as should be, he's collecting some food, not really minding the TC going down. He has reached the fuel age after all, 
Also some walling preemptively here to make sure that Alwolf can't uh, drop another TC once this goes down. He wants to keep the action out here. Uh, let's have a look at the villager count here. It's Alwolf with the villager lead here. I don't know if he'll kill anyone just yet. Lipa is dropping an outpost so he wants to make sure he sees when Alwolf moves out around here. Could... He needs wood for repairs, so he's trying to keep the DC up here. Other wolf doesn't really focus this villager, but he could uh, also consider walling the side here just to make sure other wolf can't run around. Not that it looks like he has the plan to. Here comes the defensive tower as well. So the um, nice defense from Leepa so far. He wants to prevent any second TC drop to happen as uh, soon as possible. Looking at the resources, his other wolf is with the resources to drop another TC. His TC hasn't taken damage here either, so that uh, would be staying up. Here comes another tower as well. Uh, that's just outside of range, I guess, from the TC. TC with 6 range. Now TC reaches the tower, so that's probably going to go down next after this TC is out. So, real disrespect from Adolf here. Going for the, not the Persian douche, but the Teuton's douche here against his uh, clanmate. True disrespect here, and uh, sends a few villagers forward to batter down this tower as well. I think the TC could help out, even if he, tar if he targets fire down here. So more towers going up for Lipe here. He has stone in the back, so he's lucky in that sense that he is able to drop towers here. But TC drops can surely be really annoying to deal with here, still. So defensive towers going up, but Adolf with some uh, quick walls around here to save his own villagers from uh, counterattack from these uh, Lippe's villagers here. As uh, Lippe tries to wall in these villagers around his own defensive tower, I believe. Is, uh... So so far Lippe isn't panicking at all. The one option could be to counterattack as well, but uh, Adolf has preemptively walled his wood line here. His berries are exposed though, there are some sheep to take here as well, so he has consistent food income. But uh, he would struggle against archers or even a tower drop up here, I think. But one of the defensive towers are going down, the other one is going down to TC fire. Still 14 villagers inside the TC here. And some farms being dropped. Teuton's farms, really cheap. So why not just make use of it here? And uh, also looking at the populations here, Adol is still in the Dark Age, obviously, he's been deleting his TC in order to drop it on his enemy here. And he's uh, 29 to 24 in that regard. However, TC, Lipe does not have a TC, so he cannot replenish villager numbers. He is going to drop another TC here now. Uh, see, Adolf may be battering down these towers now and sending villagers forward for a new TC drop. He's sending 9 villagers forward. And here comes some Stonewall Foundation from Lipe, trying to stop another TC block from happening. I think that won't happen, that's true, but the other wolf is also will fighting here, so he's uh, causing some serious damage to Lipe here, who still doesn't have his TC up to produce, dropping the TC on gold. Actually makes sense in the feudal age, because you could, uh, if you could spare the wood, you could drop a market and then use the gold income to adjust your eco, but here it looks like we might be seeing another TC drop here. He is looping around. Can Lippe quick all this from uh, Adolf? More stone walls. Foundation coming up here. Still potential TC spot here. Looks like Adolf is going for it. This would involve some builder fighting. Oh, nice stone wall foundation from Lippe. They're keeping the TC foundation out again and tasking the builders in. So it's not going to be another TC drop just yet here for Adolf. But villager fighting on the menu here. It's all with 32 to 25 villagers now. No TC bringing a lot of villagers back home as well. Is he going to <laughs> just rebuild the TC at home? Could be, could be that this is just an elaborate distraction. Oh, here comes the TC. Uh, a bit of palisade quick walls to keep the enemy villagers out here. And uh, Lipa tries to force up a watchtower here, but uh, not too many villagers committing to this, so. They are being chased down by other wolf villagers, and uh, Quick Wolf's not really succeeding here. I think this TC could go up for other wolf. It's now at 70%, and he has uh, 5 villagers building it, so 
Looks like he's doing decent here. He's also with a nice food eco here. Could almost go feudal here with this current eco and just leaves this farm to die here. And one would think that all oh, was his Khmer here dropping farms like that. Or T90. <laughs> but DC goes up, garrisons the villagers, takes out, goes to take out the watchtower first, needs to do that in order to be able to repair behind here. Meanwhile, he's going heavily on berries at home to boost that through the eco, might uh, simply just keep villagers here to attack and to research the fuel age here. He's uh, still with lots of wood, but he's missing one stone, so he can't really do repairs on this forward DC here. Although it's pretty desperate for one stone, should just task one villager to pick one stone here and, uh, and uh, drop it off. Leap with even more wall foundations here just to obstruct pathing and maybe uh, deny entrance from the sides here. But Oddwolf, he cannot repair his TC, so this is just a distraction maneuver. This could TC could go down, maybe even just rebuild it at home. Who knows? Here goes Leepa's initial scout town. Still, it's 32 to 23 villagers for Oddwolf here. Leepa is producing villagers again, but will be winning the TC war here unless Oddwolf uh, gets repairs up and he does so exactly as even. <laughs> Trying to send villagers over, maybe to garrison, maybe to commit to repairs, or simply to villager fight and redirect TC fire in a different direction here. So looking at the food count for Adolf here, he is housed, so he might as well just use the TC for something sensible, like researching the next age here, but uh, let's see what it does. Another watchtower going up for Lipe here, so all the wolves builders won't have an easy escape here. This uh, guard, uh, watchtower will also target the villagers, I believe. But uh, looks like uh, Adolf could win this TC war after all. Lipe is committing a little to repairs as well, but he's very, very low on food at the moment. He's committed to farms and uh, stone, of course, and he's out of wood. No more repairs for Lipe. No more towers. Where does he go from here? As Adolf has kicked a few late, he's uh, close to 40%. He's actually not committing to repairs anymore. Uh, at least not at the moment. Maybe he's uh, struggling for resources as well now. It's not really, he's got some wood for repairs still. But HP wise, it's 700 something. It's a dark HTC, so the fuel HTC should have. Uh... Actually, it doesn't have more HP. But I think I'll also be keeping up this TC just long enough to get to the next age and then what happens? One stray villager is battering down this tower here. No uh, Stonewall Foundation is not complete around the tower. Fuel age at 97, 98, 99. Fuel age is in. Now what? I think Adolf is holding the current being housed record now because he's been housed for like the last 10 minutes here. That's not something you commonly see in the 1600 plus ELO level. TC at some 300 HP and GG is called. So we're gonna browse through the stats. It's all part of the plan. Yeah, well, if you say so, Mr. Adolf. Why do more when it's not needed right? Yeah, it's true. No need for more multitasking than strictly necessary. I get the idea.
All right, I'm back. So the players uh, not started quite yet. I guess they'll be drafting sims and home maps as well, so we might be a little bit while before they actually launch. But we'll stick around and hope to see them soon. Right, we've been told the home maps now. Let's see. Come. There's the home map command. Hello. Yeah, a little bit better. It's uh, still quite low. Uh, I could, of course, adjust my general volume, but... Hello. Hello. Oh, no, I'm just in there. Yeah, I hear you at least. I might... Uh... Need to adjust my general volume here for everything to work, but uh, that's okay. Hello, am I muted or something? Can you hear me? <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, I have my general volume uh, quite high now. It's like uh, I usually don't keep it that high. That's uh, kind of weird. 
and you are fully I'm going to adjust this of course a little bit but <laughs> hmm. any news on their saves. I don't see any draft ready yet from Adolf uh, <coughs> and Erdo. Hello. Uh, still kind of low, but I can try to adjust my general volume here. I'll just have to adjust all of the sounds for. Can we talk again, so maybe I hear. Uh, yes. Hello. Hi. Hey. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's better. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go now. So I'm going to have to uh, pay attention to volume. Chat needs to tell me as well if the volume is intolerable of music or other stuff here. But at least I can hear you, and that's good. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go. So the lobby is up, but it's only other wolf in it for the moment. Yeah, uh, AR might still be in the game. He has been uh, warming up. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, let's see. Okay, not on the rank ladder apparently because I can't find him in spectator. Yeah, co-caster is still a bit quiet. Let's just crank my volume to max and see if that helps. Uh, yeah, I did it. Yeah. I sure did. Seems like they still haven't picked the uh, sims yet. 
No, I'm checking the Discord from time to time, but yeah, I can keep it up here. Let's see. Okay, don't speak anything. Uh, we started, did I say something about the sieves? Yeah, we need the sieve draft. Wait, we started, have fun, what? Alright, well, draft won't work for the time being then. Let's just uh, hop into it and get back to it. I'll add the sieves command here. As Britons and Airtel as Franks. Britons and Franks, okay. I'm still not in the game yet. Now I am. I'm pretty sure I need to adjust the volume here from uh, music and other stuff, so. Terribly sorry, man. No worries. There we go, let's hope that helps a little bit. Chat will have to keep me advised if uh, stuff is going on. Alright. Just. Alrighty. Oh. <coughs> So close. So on the uh, other side, it doesn't really look like the new Iravia map gen. He has a uh, beautiful potential for full wall here uh, between the wood lines, and he has great wood yeah. lines as well. Uh, I mean, the edge of the map, like the wall quarters of the map. Yeah. Is he has to be happy here with Britons with those kinds of woodlands. His uh, main goal maybe not ideal, but... Mm. No, 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 I think it's fine, I think it's fine. It's pretty safe. Yeah. Uh, it's, but... way better than, it's way better than ARs. Yeah, AR-12 side is ridiculous. His two forward goals, one up on the hill even, and the berries close to the hill. That's horrible against an archer sieve. Yeah, um, he, can't take, he can't take those bushes for free. He will get them. Yeah, so left hand side though, that gold should be somewhat able to be secured for air travel, I think. Some creative walling and he could get that one. Uh, so he will have gold access, I think. And he has taken the backwood line. That's these are two backwood lines. But the berries, that's going to be tough being Franks. You really want those berries to be exploited for your sim bonus. So. I'm just hoping Adal doesn't run to the PC, and he is not. <laughs> well, it's going forward now, we might see it. Well, he, he, saw, the, he saw the houses, he should be fine. <laughs> it, it's past four minutes, so if he scouts die now, he's, uh, he's gonna be in trouble. Yeah, no re after four minutes, that's right. <laughs> Against me, he called it like three seconds before the time limit. Yeah. But look, he's going straight for the boar here. <coughs> Will we see a steal if he sees it? Nah, he's missing it. That sucks. Nope. And TC, TC. Nah, he's fine. Are you live? Are you live? Uh, I should be live, yes. No, 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 you're not live. You're not live. 
What? Oh, live game time, of course, of course. I'm fast forwarding now. Makes sense. There we go. 5.53, and we should be good. Yeah, AR sees the drush coming. No surprise there. Mm. It's coating the barracks here. So it's probably going to be a standard dream in the Shepherd Wolf here because it's not playing Hans or Celts here. And. And also, yeah. barracks for Neil is quite. That's good. I like it. Nice, ah, sending them. Yeah. Getting hits on the yeah. scout. That's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty huge. That's bad uh, for the Franks taking that much damage to the initial scout that uh, impairs your what's probably going to be a scout rush. I don't, I don't think AR is going to have the wood to make, uh, to make stable. Let's it's see. Only five wood. That, that's not enough. Definitely not enough. No, and it's walling as well with palisades. That's a little bit of wood investment there. And uh, five down by the... Oh, and he didn't drop the barracks yet. Wow, yeah, this could be uh, significant. Yeah, like, uh, like I said, that he's, he's not going to have enough wood for stable. I don't think so. Well, the draft is not going to do anything, but... Mm. He forced some use as well. Okay, so he is almost... Uh, he's closing in on 60% here, and still he uh, hasn't started the barracks. Come on, man, where's the barracks? <laughs> he's not gonna be in time. Well, he's been open about this. He hates being rushed, and we can see that in practice here now. I have mean, heard him say that more than once. Yeah, he, now there's the barracks, but he's gonna be late for that. And Adal is already up. But Adal is not falling, which I don't like at all. That's weird, he has like the dream map on his side, so he should definitely start the walling process. I mean, and look at his map. Two save stones, two save golds. What the hell? I don't know, maybe he relies on quick walling skill against scouts. It could be, but... Uh, <laughs> seems kind of useless. And he is the one forwarding right now, so that helps out. Oh. Oh, that would be a turn of events. That's not usually <laughs> what happens in other Wolves games. <laughs> no, it's usually the other way around. Okay, let's see. He's going for. Yep, there's the archery ring. Double archery range, I like this. Ah, okay, so we're going full feudal here for a while. That could be fun. And AR is housed, oh my god. What's happening, AR? Did you, didn't you sleep well last night or something? <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts exactly. <laughs> um, promising for sure. I mean, Adolf is well rested. He woke up at uh, 2 p.m. this day, so he's, he's fine. He's been saving. Uh, <laughs> we we don't know how well he slept because of the loss yesterday. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he was like <laughs> he was lying in his uh, bed or sofa crying with his king hat on. That's true. Yep. Now, uh, I, think, I like that fight from Adam. Yeah, I was going to say it's a bad fight for Air Twelve. He's taking yeah, HP losses. Fight for oh my god. <sighs> Was that one scout? Well, he's bringing away the weak one here. That's only one militia down, though, so they could still be annoying here. Yeah, the drugs has done absolutely enough already. All things considered, though, and even being housed, AR-12 is with a one slightly above one villager lead here. Yep. There goes the militia down, and there goes the other one. Okay, we're fine. Adal, Adal is massing a lot of archers and a spearman, and AR has nothing to, to counter that. There isn't a blacksmith yet, though, so they won't have a fletching, but with spearmen on the field, you can't do anything with scouts anyway. We need a range from uh, AR-12 ASAP. Wait. Wait, 
he's getting wheelbarrow already. I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm. First house, I guess. Yeah, wheelbarrow for ten farms. Yeah, twenty-seven. Oh, that's a bit. That's way too early. Going for a raid now, but one scout is almost bye bye, and two scouts won't do enough. And there's the spear. Let's see if the spear can take some. Oh uh, yeah, if he's all right. No good reaction from Eritrea. They're pulling away, seeing the spear. I don't have, I don't have spears everywhere. On the gold, or the berries, wood line is walls. I like Adal's position a lot more. See, that's the problem of uh, seems like Franks and these kinds of things. You kind of know what to expect. You expect them to open scouts and uh, most most likely go into knights, although they do have like all seems other options. But then you just make spears and you're fine until they can get upgrades or some reinforcement on the field. Yeah, I see. That. <laughs> Look at AR. I don't like that base at all. Like, all the military buildings are so bad. Yeah, but he might. I mean, that range could be intentional when he wants to hide it. That he wants to think that. Uh, Adults to think that he's going double stable knights or something. Maybe, maybe. But uh, maybe I'll just. Uh, could be a stress reaction as well. That's a lot of archers. And mining camp has been abandoned for now, so no gold for air 12, and the archers are yeah. going to make that easier. The, that wood line is in trouble. Oh god, huge! Oh my god. AI in trouble. Definitely yeah. in trouble. Yep. Yeah. Well, the skirms are fully upgraded, but oh, those villagers! Oh boy! Yeah, that's one, two. Other wolf in the villa now. Uh, he could trap though, he could trap now with the gate by the house here. No, doesn't. He just pull, pulls them away. Brings in the scouts though, but the archers are fletching so they could focus the scouts and the scouts are so weak as well. Yeah, he's doing fine, he's fine. Uh, this is a great cleanup actually with the amount of army he has. He's uh, using the scouts to tank fire and get lets the skirms with the upgrades fire away. That's quite a few archers lost for Adolf and the KD-826. A lot of idle time. Yeah, I'm gonna toggle the eco here, so it's probably fresher for other wolf. Yeah, it's not not too dissimilar, but the gold should be an issue. The archers could still be able to get a little bit more. Adel should mix in some stuff. Uh, Adel has a lot of archers in the, in the archer range. Yeah, he's eight more, ten more soon, and he's taking the hill as well. So that uh, now we could. Yeah, he has too few archers, but he could still pick off maybe one skirm if he is forced to, but he's just pulling away and for the reinforcement of the heal here. Yeah, he should, he should wait for Castlevage and uh, to get the range. <laughs> to get the extra range. Yeah. Uh, he's a bit far from Castlevage himself though, but he has the he has 15 farms and all and gold, so it's not only a matter of time now. They are 12 with... Time, yeah, looks like it from the eco setup. Yep. But then, assuming that Olaf keeps his uh, 16 archers alive, going to be more, of course, then he will easily challenge early knights here because they need the plus two to take favorable fights and they need numbers. So. Yeah, absolutely, and Britain shine in uh, <clears throat> early castle. Yeah, he certainly has the momentum here. Yep. Uh, picking off the scout with Germs. No, 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 the scout. Uh, is <laughs> Oh, uh, what a hero! One HP. <laughs> Still alive. And, oh, AR Adal is going for a raid on the left. That's good. But Go. AR is gonna spot it, I think. Yeah. yeah there's a there. scout. Sees them coming. Yeah, he sees it. He's going back now. Yeah, expected. But again, idle time. Yeah, I mean, uh, couldn't they just have dropped a defensive tower on this wood line or one of them to secure it a little bit? Because. He is clearly being uh, idled a lot here. No, I don't, don't eat, eat, eat. Yeah, here come 8 skirms against 15 archers. With a heal that the uh, archers should uh, have that even more easily. Uh, I don't like this, Adal is gonna lose them probably. Mm. He shouldn't dive in, he should just run. Run for your life, Forrest! Yeah, I mean, he's gonna lose numbers before Castlage now. Yeah, and he's, he's more at home, of course, but he doesn't need to waste them. Why doesn't he? Or at least trying to pull them away, trying to save them for upgrades. He should, he should save as many as possible. Just go. 
Uh, look at the pot potential for surround here. Three skirms on the right hand side and four on the left. Ooh. Yeah, we'll definitely get some kills here. Splits help just so much here. 13. And still. Oh, God, he's trapped. Yeah, and 60, 70% oh, no. 60, cast late. He's going to lose uh, huge numbers here before the upgrades. Oof. Oh, God. I don't like this. They are to drop. Uh, yeah, he's dropping the second stable, so definitely going to be two double stable knights here. And he already has the skirms to snipe potential uh, spears or pikemen here. Here come another. Let's see. I'm not sure if need it. Oh god, there's a lot of skirms. I yeah. Know, I, I just get surrounded again. But here's cast lage crossbow, of course, should be clicked immediately here. Hello, hello, hello. Can you afford it or what's there? It is. Yeah, but he doesn't have the gold for it, I think. He's with 61 gold. Oh, I didn't realize that. He's dropping TC. TC's. Okay, one. He's trading on both sides. I like this. Yeah, and Crossbow is in. Uh, of course, Britain's extra range is in that. I mean, of course, you want Botkin, but you don't need to stress it that much with Britain's. That's considered. He's getting it. But now he needs to focus knights on the left hand side and he will be losing all the crossbows here. Yes, he will. But... Hmm. I don't like this position. AR doesn't have bottom yet. Nah, now he does. Ah, there it is. And uh, Adol has as well, so it's uh, one extra range for him. Could use that to his advantage here. Look at AR's TC, look at that TC. Where is he? Where is it? <laughs> oh, TC, no? oh, the idols. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> 17 idols, man. It's not that hard to micro against uh, 6 crossbow, is it? <laughs> no, he's focusing on the fights, and wisely so. Teddy looks pretty hor horrible. Yeah, that's a lot of losses for Adolf. Adolf will be taking the eco lead though because it's with two TTs and consistently producing from both, I think. No, it's not. He's got four builders in one and none in the other, so... <laughs> well, he'll notice that soon enough. I fixed there's a it. There's a third TC, I like it. He's gonna catch up in eco. And be ahead. AR doesn't have food, uh, wood to make another TC. Ah. Oh. Mm. Yeah, he's been making so many skirms, so that does, of course, uh, impair the skirms production. But he's uh, TCing the main gold now, that's a good choice. That's a defensive measure in Starchers, of course. Okay, AR is going for it now. Knight's still with plus one, though, so he misses the plus two. He hasn't been able to afford that yet. He's okay. low on food. I don't like that third TC from AR. Yeah, it looks like he wants a castle drop, but he at least put it closer to the stone man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see if he's gonna lose. If Adar's gonna lose that scout now, finally. I bet he wants to collect stone yeah. out. Ah, uh, scout's down. <laughs> finally. No, Air 12 is going to stone because he probably wants to take the hill where his army is currently at. He wants to make sure Adol can't drop a castle and go try fighting for there, or even archers are lost. Yeah, probably. Well, Colin says he would love to see the third TC on wood. Very good point. The woodlands have been horrible for Air 12 so far to yeah, archers fire. Yeah, both woodlands are very horrible. Third range of Adal, huh? I like this, I like this. Mm -hmm. I'm going for the numbers. He's with uh, numbers. Lee for now has four pikemen and uh, spearmen in the mix as well. Uh, he isn't really able to afford pikemen, I think, just yet. He's committing to yeah, the boom. Just, yeah, he's just full booming now with this. I like it, I like it. He needs ballistics. Well, it's other wolf. He's gonna get it at the one hour mark. 
I hope he can hear us, that way he can make ballistic. <laughs> yeah, then we know he's stream sniping if he does that. <laughs> <laughs> now, he doesn't have a university yet, you know, he's just uh, full booming, but this is a dangerous army now, considering. But, uh... Well, the knights, ah, they're getting past two now, okay? Yeah. Ado has a lot of crossbows. Yeah, but it's 12 skirms and 10 knights, I think, so it's not horrible for it. Well, of course, he needs the plus 2, that's in. But nice place to the crossbows for that wall. He's staying inside his walls and getting pickoffs here. Yeah, but that, that heal, AR is standing on the heal. Yeah. <laughs> nice house waltz. <laughs> Absolutely, I like this, I like this. Solid. Is he trying to spell, spell GG with houses or what? <laughs> oh, ah. the knights are in. Yeah, here they come. Yeah, but he should be fine. Be fine. And he has uh, 8 villager lead now. Yeah, but don't throw now, Air 12. He was staying at the TC and there's a massive crossbow here. Now we will lose no, net under no, here. No. Okay, that split is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good dancing there. Raiding with skirms. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's some idle time right there. Looking to build the counts though, it's 78 to 72, both players with three TCs, but Air Troll actually not producing at all from any TCs now, it's going full army. Yeah, and he's, well, he's house. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> there's, the uni there's the university, finally. Ah, there you go. Thirteen knights now and a notable amount of skirms. Seventeen skirms. It's air twelve with actually not the army lead, but arguably the stronger army still. Yep. Oh, imagine a castle drop from Franks on the hill here, right on the production. I mean, it's never gonna allow that to happen with these massive crossbows, but why is why is Adam not running to the CC? No. Going that way. Why is he going? No. Yeah, but looking for a choke. He's going for the wood uh, edge there. That's not. Yeah, but, but there are skirms behind. Yeah. Yeah, he's losing a lot now. KD 65 to 23. Oh man. Oh my, oh my god, I don't like. Ah. I will maybe think it's, it's still favorable. He's taking away lots of wood and gold's worth of knights here. Yeah, 10 villagers ahead still and. Uh... Resource-wise, Adal is closer to in. Like, well, he's about to pick up. Uh, yeah, he's getting there and he's getting ballistics. Uh, that was sorely missed for sniping knights, but... Yeah, he's gonna be cornered now. He's gonna lose these 10 crossbows in the middle, for sure. Yeah, he is, he is. Skirm raids again, making the gold a bit awkward here. The are doing it so yeah, well. Yeah, workshop or, or, or anything? Seed workshop, yes. knight, scout. Scorpions behind the walls, something. That's, uh, yeah, many options. Yeah, one TC on the gold completely idle there, only from skirms. I mean, Britons have uh, decent knights in Castle H, not great, know. of course. I don't know, I could have picked up already, but he's making a ton of uh, villagers again. Hmm. Compensating for the idling, but look at the military count. It's 42 to 25 now, and AR12. Yeah, he's not close to him click either, but he is taking the hill near Adolf now. Uh, okay, he's dropping a defensive castle at Wolf. I was going to say AR12 could castle drop this hill and deny all archers' production. Knights are in though, but they're not so many knights and they're something up really easy, I don't know about this. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, it's GG, oh god. Ay, ay, ay. That's it. So, a bit too greedy boom here. Um, um, it was a bit, a bit of a throw, I think if he added a few... Maybe seed, like mangonels. 
Yeah, uh, and we did say well, about the walls earlier as well. What counters scouts and knights and these things? It's walls, so and he has the potential to use the woodlands here. He was yeah. dictating the pace of the game for a while. He could just have, yeah, closed off even more. Well, that was a fun game. Yeah, GG, well played, fair to getting back from that one. <laughs> Alright, so let's see, AR12, that's 1-0 for him then. <clears throat> and we'll be going to Adol's home map, so I'm just gonna refresh this. Let's see what they are again. It's going to be either Ghost Lake or Islands, and I think... Actually, by the way, by the way, the sieve draft is here. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. Let's see. Okay, now I forgot to toggle the score. But... Uh, I guess it's gonna be Ghost Lake, probably. Uh, I actually, I'm not too sure about that because Airtel is really strong on water as well. So maybe he wants to get the water map away with it, just in case he loses, and then Ghost Lake for later. Maybe. Uh, but I, I, well, I don't like adult thieves. So like, what is he gonna use on islands? Celts? Ah, uh, Vikings. No, that's uh, that's air. Never mind. Islands. He's going to. I mean, he did use Indians in another islands game, so he could be going Indians on islands. Well, that game was a. He did lose that one. Okay, he did. <laughs> Adal lost that one when. That island skin against uh, Lipe. So, uh, not a fan. I mean, look at AR's water maps. Uh, I mean, water seas. Vikings, Italians, Persians. Persians or Italians for migration, Vikings for islands. Those are the perfect fits. Yeah, definitely better receives for islands for Airfeld here. And. Celts can do fine on islands, but Vikings are so strong with the cheaper uh, dock and cheaper galley. Yeah, the amazing boom and Air 12 is still a better boomer than Adolf, I think. So. Yeah. I'm just gonna add the draft command here as well, if I can even find it. There it is. So, will I be up yet? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're live. Yeah. And it's Ghost, Ghost Lake, you're right. <laughs> Might as well just ask in your channel, why is an adult making some eagles again? Yeah, I just responded with zips, but I know Might as was joking, of course. Stupid German humor. Celts against Khmer. Celts! Yeah, so he's spending his last good <laughs> water sieve for Ghost Lake. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe he's really using Indians on islands then. Yeah, that's probably... Or he's just going to troll completely and go something else like Aztecs or something. Silly thing. Uh, I don't know. Well, AR is taking a lot of shit in the middle, which is the correct play. He's taking all the sheep. Wow, he's snagging all of them. He's uh, only missing um, four on the right-hand side here. That was a mistake Adolf made last game on uh, Ghost Lake as well. That was against you, I guess. Uh, was it? Uh, yeah, well, he let me get all the relics. No, that's it. That was the main thing either. But he didn't take the extra sheep either, so... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I got all the sheep from the middle as well. But, like, the relics were, was the deciding part. And also, I think I was, uh, I clicked to imp already and Adel wasn't close to picking up yet. Well, Adel did find four sheep for the middle, that's okay. Yeah, that's some return. But... but uh, looks like AR is gonna steal the second... Yeah, gonna steal. Nope. Uh, he turns away, he could still snipe them. Nah, he's not gonna find them. No, no he's not gonna find them. 
No, I, I don't. No, no, no. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Quack, oh. oh. quack. Oh. Re. Wait. Re. Oh. Uh, well, he's hosting the tournament. He's dictating the rules. <laughs> All good. <laughs> All part of the plan. Oh, this is annoying. So Lobby's up. And they're live. Yep. Yep. Let's go. The thing here is, uh, Alolf is playing Celts, and AR-12 is going to know 100% what is coming his way. It's going to be Huang style, 5 or 6 militia, and then move on, so can he stop it? He could just hide in houses with Gwer or Greek wall off, and he should be okay. I think Gwer style prefers uh, if the, like, the players are close, and uh, in this case they are really close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, look at all those map, it's nicely, easily walled off here, but at the cost of walling out your main gold. Adal, Adal is actually taking AR streets and... Oh wait, no, no, never mind. Okay. Yeah, but they are super close. Mm -hmm. And they both have terrible main gold. Yeah, far off, almost to, to the middle for both of them. <laughs> yeah. And look at Air 12's side gold as well. Yeah, well, actually, Air has a horrible map compared to Alolf. Alolf has six, ti six tiles of walls and he has Arena, and uh, Air 12 has uh, lost the map lottery again and it's just a wide open base. <laughs> Ada can just take his uh, back gold, which is fine. Hmm. Yeah, I like Adam's map way more. At least Air Troll has the berries in the back, so that's going to be hard to hit that first with the Drush it's probably going for. I mean, with this map, Adolf could pull off uh, straight FCE even, but I don't think he's going to go for that. No. I mean, imagine if Air Troll had Adolf's maps, he would just demolish <laughs> with uh, Kvur <laughs> Fast Castle. <laughs> I would just go, uh, like, naked FC into boom. Yeah. But again, AR is taking all the sheep from the middle. Yeah. He's, uh, Alolf is gonna find two here, but that's about it. Yeah, find two, but that's gonna be it. And the scouts might meet each other mm -hmm. and fight, 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 please. No, there's oh, nothing bad. Oh. <laughs> I'll do okay, rather I'll take the fine. other one. You're just being friendly, AR, or are you gonna chase that cheap as well? Yeah, you'll chase it. Barracks no, for it's a pre meal barracks for Alolf, so it's going to be an early rush here. Yep. Just like the previous game. Yeah, except now it's probably gonna go through the Huang with more even more militia, I think. But uh... Well AR walling, I like those walls. Defensive, not greedy. Yeah, towards the TC, and he put the house in the back as well, so no surprises on the wood line there. And uh, not too cheap in the back here for Air 12, but he's probably not even going to worry about. Well, he sees them, so he might snag them now with the villager. Yes, 
Yeah, he's doing that. He's doing that. <laughs> of course he is. Yeah. Good job, System Barrex. <laughs> At minute 6.30 and bam, bam, I see you. I know what's coming. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see Ed Rush doing any serious damage here. Nah, Potentially on the right hand wood line, but now here come Waltz here as well. So one will delete for Air Force so we have a Build militia almost killing the scout again on layer 12. Yeah, See that? Four militia about to be. Yeah, maybe it's only four this time. It's a bit situational. Could punish the walling here, maybe, yeah, but. No, those, those militia won't do anything. Yeah, it's not walled. Yeah. Oh, Adolf hasn't scouted the base at all. <laughs> oh! Ah, he's gonna lose zero. Okay, well he's got him now. Surprise! <coughs> Surprise! <laughs> and few late for Air Twelve. He's Khmer, so he doesn't uh, need to stress any buildings. AR, so he's always blaming uh, people that the dark wall, and then he himself is the <laughs> yeah. waller. But as said, I'm he. Gonna I'm gonna roast him so bad. <laughs> Well, he knows what's coming, so... Like, every time someone dark walls, he, he's like, Oh, God, that's so boring. And then look at him. <laughs> this dude. Well, at least forcing some walls here. That could be considered item, but definitely not worth the 5 militia investment here. Although also with only four farms, so I don't see him getting a great fast castle time here, especially not against Kvern. Yeah, let's see, AFL scouting. He actually hasn't scouted much of Adolf either, so... Oh, double range! Wow. Okay, he's going full feudal, but Adal is walled and very safe. Like, yeah, woodline, right hand woodline is not safe from Archer's fire. Yeah, I'll call the maybe Ant Man can increase his headset volume. If that helps. I'm trying, man. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Air 12 sees the walls now. Like the dream map for Fast Castle style plays here for Adolf. Wolf. I don't think Ada will be able to pick up. No. Like it's only almost it's less than 3 on food. He has 14 on food total, but that's. Yeah, it's heavy on the berries. 7 on berries. Oh, almost breaking through with the uh, militia here, but. Nice awareness for my hotel keeping them out. I mean, maybe Otto go, goes for the men at arms then, since he has five militia here anyway. But they are the archers. The men at arms do anything. Yeah, they'll clean up easily. Also, Otto can see the ranges because uh, they are behind the walls, so. What is it? The uh, archers now? Yeah. Pulls away. Bye bye, militia. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at the right hand side. <laughs> it's a sneak. What? Well, yeah, it's gonna be Huang style for sure. Yeah. I don't even his. Yeah, 
because there's the up click. Actually, I think it's castle time will buy. Well, it'll be before uh, air 12 by good margins here because air 12 is only with. Yeah, he's competing to full to you do there. Fletching is in. I mean, uh, left hand side, he might. No, I probably can't break through without three calls happening behind, even if it's that far away. <clears throat> Stone walls, oh come on. Come on. It's not like you're up against Saracens here. Yeah, that's eight idols for uh, Adolf at the moment. Taking the wood line <laughs> to the left now for some reason. Yeah, hmm. to the very far left. I don't know why, but. Yeah. I mean, some archers. Nah, maybe not archers, but crossbows here, and you reach most of that, so. Interesting. Uh oh, AR12 will run into stone walls. Surprise! But look at the top, the rating on the wood line. With oh, nice, nice hit. Splitting up here. Yeah. It's basically the only place he can hit right now. But he could also break the palisade. Now I don't know this. Yeah. Drop. Uh, air hasn't picked up yet. <laughs> what is that lumber camp? <laughs> I'm thinking about the exact same thing. <laughs> Not making a safe workshop yet, but AR is pulling back or not. Yeah. Oh, those three archers are gonna be so annoying. I mean The Siege Workshop Foundation there could be discovered by scanning the right hand side. I don't think Air 12 does that, but Oh, I don't think he does that. Yeah, yeah he's gonna Expect it to come anyway, so let's see how we'll deal with it. This mass of archers into crossbows will surely deal with the knights at least, but uh, Mangalons is worse. No, he actually he can't scan it because he's got it the area where the seed workshop is. Mm, yeah, that's right, only the top tile of it, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, but it's said that he doesn't usually do that anyway. Is that an overshop? No. Hey, yeah, Adam's gonna clean up those two archers first. Which... Ah, it's the right decision. They're pretty annoying. The Gauss says, Query is the perfect team to deal with this. You could spam light cab and get redemption monks. That's true. Monks will help a lot. Redemption monks is basically the one counter, I think. So. <laughs> <laughs> but AR yeah, doesn't have the reason. I mean, he has a 4 tile gold, and that's about it, so that's... Well, he looks like he wants to TC his main gold or something, because yeah, he broke the walls. Yeah, TC the main gold, and that can be dangerous, the count T. Oh, yeah. now he sees it. Now he sees it. Oh. Alright. So, smart move to scout the uh, side base, then. But, three knights... Uh, no upgrade. Full Huang style here and two, two miles. <laughs> Tries to attack around the weak scout. <laughs> Archers need to be careful here. No crossbows. Probably not committing to the. All right, needs to finish the siege workshop first. Ow! Yeah, no, saves quite a few archers there. Goes for crossbows and botkin. Yep. Well, he has so many archers. And the uh, TC Foundation goes bye bye here. Yep. That's... Any monster yet? No. Nah. University. So, Why? early ballistics, maybe? I don't know. I guess knights. Oh, no, that's but uh, that's a, a huge wood and gold investment. Right. He should go for Steve Workshop. Magadel, one for two. Oh, beautiful hit. Hmm. 
Mm, nice micro. Three Magnus down now. Alright, so what's the university gonna do for you other than take up valuable base space? Yeah, so far the Nangrel hasn't done much <laughs> Kiki Nolo 69 writes Antman, do you have a problem with your microphone or are you stuck in the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh boy. So, one TC badass play from uh, Adolf here. Oh, nice hit. Get some uh, crossbows there. Mangalal, one for one. No. Adolf saves his Mangalal. Nice. Hmm. Actually, Adas pinned this up. He's doing fine. Yeah, the KD is very in his favor now. It's 20 to 30, but uh, Airtrail is with 2 TC, so if he survives the push, he is in a great position because his eco will just be so much better. He has TC this side goal, that means he could go for his own monks. Why is they are making uh, archer? Uh, he's in the monastery, so I guess he wants to deal with the monks or wants to mass archers enough to take out the knights. But uh, there's four mangonels now, so how do you deal with that with archers? That's a lot of mangonels. And he has one mangonel of his own, but he has gotten some lucky shots and he did have one for two a moment ago, so. But he's going very heavily on gold now, AR12. He's with 30 on gold, that's... Elephant! Why elephant? <laughs> and no upgrades. Nothing. The knights would easily kill these elephants for now. He needs some uh, serious numbers for this to work. They're practically saying that Adal, please convert my elephant. Yeah, but he has archers to deal with the monk. That's yeah. only one monk for now, but... But... Oh, oh, Magnals, Magnals, two against five. One for one, okay, fair enough. One for two. <laughs> and please snipe the monk, there you go. Elephants. Ah, another Magadel. That's lots of golden wood down the drain for the wolf. He's only got one tile left in his main base now. Oh, but a boobs. Oh, look at the corpse. I missed that. I was um, looking briefly on the wolf's side. Seven crossbows left. Knights with plus one, so... Market for Airfell now. Other Wolf expanding now to his uh, right hand gold. That would be subject to raids if Airfell gets uh, some uh, raiding units on the field. Is now 12 knights, 11 knights, and a couple of wagonels. Yeah, that piece is going down for sure. But maybe not. Let's see the wagonel mm -hmm. micro. Oh, but look at the knights raiding the woodland. There's many things to attempt to now. Knights on either side on the woodlands. And the push. Oh! So. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll hop into the houses. I love it. Kimber <laughs> power, guys. Magnell, one for almost. Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, there's one too. Again. That's the third. That's the third one for one for two shot that Ayrthal has had. <laughs> and even against Celts. Now cleans up the knights on both sides here. So I mean. Eco-wise, Adolf is much more dependent on keeping his army alive and he's losing knights, he's losing Magdalene's has lost like thousands of wood and gold in, in Magdalene's by now. But again, for yeah. And Air 12 thinks he has Britain's crossbows because he tries to snipe the Magdalene with crossbows. He didn't get a good hit in no. Another elephant! Elephant power! <laughs> elephant! That elephant is going down. Elephant to hype. He will die too. Mangal will fire soon. Oh. No, he did, he did, he did. Uh, yeah, instead of conversion. Uh, Mangal will not go down tonight, there, surprisingly enough. Oh, poor Mangal. You can't deal with that. No, it's four oh. Mangal. Oh, beautiful hit. Weakens almost the whole group here. This game is pretty messy. <laughs> yeah. So it's all hungry for revenge here, taking Celts on Ghost Lake, and his base is completely untouched with his one TC <laughs> uh, timid eco over here. Well, he's only 50 villages behind. That's not much. <laughs> And he's again raiding now. Adal is raiding on the right side. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's on the stone. That's right. Is that the only... Check, AI is going for a counter raid, but only with three crossbows. Yeah, but look at the gold for Adolf here. This is, he could still lose a lot here to the three crossbows. Uh, he can just send one knight back. That'll be enough. Yeah, that's true as well. And uh, AR just lost the Mangonel for free. Six, seven Mangonels now for uh, Adolf. This is uh, looking uh, nasty. But he doesn't, Adal doesn't see the raid on his main goal. He doesn't see it. React! Oh boy, this yeah. is horrible. Yeah. He's down uh, with 58 filters now. He's just thinking, I'm fine, I don't need this gold, I got five mangonels now, I'm fighting away. Should be seeing these red dots up here though. He's still not seeing those. Ah, uh, here come the knights, here come the knights. Two knights just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Lost almost all the gold miners though. <laughs> that was pretty sad to watch. And here come crossbows again to deal with the mangonels here, one, two... Oh god, again! And another one! Oh my god! <laughs> one for four, no! Oh, look at the KD here, it's a dead even KD, but so many Mangalans down for adults, even having the faster fire siege and two elephants, but one conversion now from the monk. Well, he's cleaning up the, 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 the archers now. Yeah, there you are. But look at Adolf's gold at the moment, he's with 66 gold, he's making a couple of knights still, but... Well, but AR has three military. Yeah. Still committing to the crossbows. But he's dropping uh, two more TCs now on the left hand side. And Adolf has overtopped on his left hand side, so if uh, Airtel can get some raids now, just make some knights or something, he could demolish. Adal is reading pretty big on the base. Like his his whole eco is uh, migrated, and he's thirty idle. No. But uh, Airtel going for rebuild here. He has two TCs, and finally from the monster. No, it's a barracks. Never mind. <laughs> yep. Don't know why. Uh, Pikeman, I guess. But that's going to take a while. All the wolves eco is 
stable a little bit as well. He's uh, still making knights and he has a healthy food and gold eco at this point. But Olaf is not going to pay, uh, play the boom game here. He's just going to extend this one TC all in. Look at ARCC. That's like holy eco idol. Yep. Swarm around. Just transition them over to the side then. <laughs> yeah. Core is very deceiving. It's a little bit uh, fascinating that Air 12 is free to uh, chop lumber right next to a little side base. Oh, TCs! Look at those TCs on the left. They're hugging each other. Oh, it's a Castle Age TC war here. You don't see that too often. No, you don't. But Air 12 is not garrisoning, so he's not taking the fight. They're both at the limit. Like, mm. completely at the limit. <laughs> just imagine if Adal sees the wood line on the right. Just kill all the villagers. There's yeah. Eight villagers. It's just, just out of sight. Now I no, should see them now. He, yeah. He sees them. That TC is going down. They yeah, here come ramps as well. Kelt Siege later on is just uh, going to get stronger and stronger as the game goes on, so I think this could be Alwolf's game. Looks very promising, for sure. Well, DC down, Chimera Farms in progress. Lots of them. <laughs> but 82 to 75 villager, so Huang style here, second TC for Alwolf, not really doing too much, but. Gonna lose. Yeah, he's gonna lose his uh, other TC, so he's gonna have one TC left. Here come the pikes. It's not going to be what enough. What is Ada doing? What is Ada doing? Now what? <laughs> well, he has four lead. <laughs> what are those villagers doing? <laughs> what are those villagers doing? Go back! <laughs> Okay, now Adal is raiding. It's a huge raid. Yeah, but now there are pikes from Air 12, but... Yeah, they have upgrades, so they have plus one, plus one. Should be trouble for the knights here. That means trouble for the siege as well, actually. Ramps going down. Don't tell me Air 12 is going to turn this around. <laughs> now, finally, Adal will have seen the builders on the yeah. woodland. Yeah, finally, awesome. GG. <laughs> but that, that, that's a lot of fight. Yeah. The Scorpion's being added though, that helps a little bit, but not nearly yeah, enough, I think. That, that helps. Um, well, it helps a little. Actually, the, the Scorps are doing pretty well. Cleaning everything. Yeah. So still with 20 more kills, he demolished the wood line over here now, killed all of them, but the Scorps go down, still lots of wood and gold down the drain, but Alwolf is kind of free to take the main gold of air travel now, because everything's cleaned up here. But more pikes are coming. Huh. Actually, Adel has a 60 villager lead. Whoa! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of Scorps. He has a TC on his main gold as well now. Yeah, but when the pikes get close, they're, they're kind of fine here, so... Uh, those scorps are doing... those scorps are killing everything, those... It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, trading pikemen for scorps, that's a great trade for your still. still. Uh, 22 villager lead. <laughs> Incredible, almost, that's closing in on 30 villagers lead. But air 12 is getting his main gold back now, he's going to go for that, but... Uh, what's <laughs> inside... Look at AR's eco! Yeah, it's... Good and cold. Except he's barely... Well, he's spending the food, of course, but he's only with 16 on food, then... Although could just make some more... Uh, Mango Dance now and take down this new TZ on the main gold, I think. Yeah, Adal is massive corpse now with the right choice. Okay. 
Yeah, old Scorpions. And also a Barracks on the other side is going for the Long Swordsman line, I think, against the Pikes. Yeah, uh, absolutely, it's the right choice. I mean, if you get the mass, he could also take out TCs with the Long Swords, so... Adel is pretty heavily housed, I think. Yeah. And uh, fitting, fitting the enough at 105. <laughs> Maybe he wants to end the game at 105 population. <laughs> but he's not in a position to do so right now because he's being pushed no, back, he's kind of. He's not, he's not. I like that Francis uh, though, to uh, long sword. No. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's getting relics now. Mm -hmm. relics, that's... So look at the turn, relic. Adel, Adel has the 30 villager lead. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> He is on 3TCs and he's producing out of, out of all of them. Going for the long swords, now getting hand cart as well. But Air is reclaiming his main base now. He's taking the stone, he's taking the gold. And a strategic cast. Oh, Siege works up on the, on the left on uh, Adult's TC, so he wants to eat this one, but that's going to be tough with long swords in the barracks. Yeah, double Siege workshop. Huh. How can he afford this? Yeah, wooden gold. He's going full siege now, it looks like. I guess so. Pike and siege. There's food as well. No, it's actually pretty decent food, Ego. It's. Uh... Oh, come on. Air 12 could still click imp with this income here. He only misses the food. <laughs> <laughs> only missing the food. Yeah. Mangonels, he wants to return the favor here. <laughs> look look at the monk in the north. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hero monk. That's no no relic for you, old man. Oh. The women of the town have decided that this is not going to happen. But thanks for bringing this closer to our base, we appreciate that. Oh, long swords. Ten, ten ish long swords. They're gonna clean everything. They're gonna clean absolutely everything. He needs plus two, the Adam needs plus two to his uh, long sword. Mm -hmm. Also, he needs siege. Add siege, man! Yeah, what's the eco setup like for a wolf? Well, that's 35 yes. village speed. Yeah, and there's more in the bank overall. He is oh, with he four on stone as well, so he might be able to drop a castle and get some wall raiders out soon as well. He's now here are the workshops, look at the near the main gold of Adel. That man gonna be getting huge shots on those pikes. Oh, another one. And oh, now it goes down. Need some scorps in the mix here. No, no, GG actually. Air 12 what? calls what? it. No, Adel calls it. No, what? No. Wow. Well, he's gonna be frustrated when he sees the, the Wait, re recording. What? <laughs> what? He has almost 40 villagers lead here, and he has more resources in the bag overall. Why? What the fuck? Well, that's probably because of losing his uh, side base here. That, yeah, his initial push. Oh, interesting. Stats should be fun here, KD and everything. <laughs> oh, Connor, remember what I said on Yobi's games? Yeah, we should link that clip, actually. <laughs> Almost same feeling. <laughs> yeah, I remember that game. That was a like, called uh, GG way too early. So 161 to 128 KD for all. So it's a positive KD. He has 117 villager high against 84. And his eco is arguably stronger in the end, from losing the fewer units. But, takes his home map, and it's 1-1. No, it's not 1-1, of course, it's 2-0.
Two zero. I mean, holy! Why did he call thirty three villager lead? Aldo needs to, needed to throw the game, it seems. Yeah, maybe he wants to keep some suspension here and do the reverse sweep. I don't really see that happening easily. <laughs> but, but, but. So it's going to be Islands next then. And what does Adolf bring for Islands? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking what will Adolf go? Like, uh, in Indians? No way. Berbers? What well, Berbers maybe? Yeah, Berbers could. Uh, they have a little bit of a water bonus, so that's pro. That's probably it then. Yeah. They, but then this. They can actually. But Vikings is just Viking. Yeah, and even Italians. I mean, you have Italians against Berbers. Berbers no eco bonus whatsoever. Italians going up quicker for sure and gaining the edge. That could be a quick GG just because of that. Or Persians with the faster working. Airtel has all the options here. Like Persians, Italians, Vikings, they are the three best teams, I'd say. Well, there's Byzantines and Japanese as well, but like those three are so beastly. Well, let's see, and here comes the solution it's Berbers for Adolf, Italians for Air 12. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, there it is. Berbers, Italians. Let's go. Uh, there we go. So, islands. A little bit of neutral resources in the middle. If the game goes for long, that could be significant. But usually it ends up with a fight for wood. I mean, I think I've seen other wolf play Berbers on islands before and doing a landing with the cavalry play. Uh, I think that was Berbers. No, didn't he use Berbers against uh, Andy? Yeah. And uh, he, yeah, and he did a great comeback there. Yeah, that was it. He made even camel archers and knights and everything on land. Probably some siege too. And yeah, that was a pretty yeah. crazy comeback. Yeah, I remember it was a, it was a great comeback. He won that game in the end. I think it was it was Berbers against uh, Italian. But I think Aerotrol is an even stronger water player, um, Galley, Micro and all that. And now he has Italians and will should be earlier up to the field age here. And that can be very signif significant. Oh, I maybe need to fast forward a little bit. There we go. Looks like both players have their golds well away from the shoreline, so they should be safe from any water action. And Woodland's not looking too bad either, so... Who's going to drop it? I think Adolf is going to... No, they're dropping the docks at... Yeah, so to, so to say the complete same time here. And luring the Rhino with the scout here for Adolf. Uh, so the scout is only at 5 HP. But on this map I would be very surprised to see Adolf running the scout into TC, so he should be fine. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Yeah, not really. The dogs have gone up. Elf has been luring right now with the uh, scout, so he's very weakened. But as I said, he won't be running into the TC on this map, so he's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check, like, what? Uh, villagers move faster. Fast. Seeds move faster. 
Yeah, that's the thing. You could uh, probably avoid fights a little bit more with Burberry's when your ships move 10% faster, but you are up against Ita Italians who... Actually, you know what? Burberry's can be quite a counter to Viking. Oh, but he's Italian. Never mind. Yeah, Italians. Yeah. So he has fire ship as well. Uh. But Italians have cheaper fish, so they could have a great fish boom. Dock technologies even cost less, that should mean war, war galley and these things earlier for Italians as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure Adal is going for a landing. Yeah. That is... That's what he has done. They're actually going to be up to the fuel age at the same time, so that's... Uh... Yeah, but Adal has one... One uh, villager more. Yeah, that's fish, I guess. Let's see. No? Uh, AFL has four fish and Adel has three, so Adel has. One villager yeah, 21, more. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That means that. Ah, Adel skips loom. He doesn't have loom. Makes sense. Very good. Ah. Yeah, that's probably to keep up with the Italians uh, in one way there, or... Yeah, yeah. I, I like that, I like that. Because the uh, AI isn't the type to land. At least not very soon. Mm -hmm. I so, know AR likes to go for water. Yeah, three looks like second dog for AR, and it's already up for a so he's gonna be at... Uh, He's actually going to be at two docks production before Air 12 here because I don't think. Yeah, maybe it finishes just in time here for Air 12 as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah, fine. Exact same time. Exact same, but one villager more for the wolf skipping loom. Four yep. gold, probably for both. Yeah. yeah. Right. And third dog coming, like the, that's the exact same build. Yeah. <laughs> I like this, I like this. But double the tax, did the uh, airfield get it already or? Yeah, they probably did. Since. Uh... Adam, Adam, Adam. So, oh, Adam spots the, the ships. Mm. He's scouting. Here we go. Two against two. Uh, uh, we'll see. Okay, should be able to get a pick off here, but then he needs to micro bike and get repairs in, right? Oh, yeah. the chip is dying. No. Oh, there's it just in time. Yeah, and I'll need to pull back as well, but he will be losing a fire galley now for sure. No micro it back. Go. No. Huh. Ah, no, great. A bit like yeah. Great repair micro from uh, Adolf there, that's one kill already. Okay. And now it's Gallies. Gallies? Hmm. Wow, I don't like that. Well, let's hit the normal potential with the 10% extra speed, but here goes dock number 4 as well. And he can't... I mean, maybe he wants to extend his <laughs> fish or something, but I don't think he can stay in 4 dock production with his current setup. Yeah, me. Either. More military. Adel is gonna be a house. Please make a house, Adel. Mm. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there's the transport. Transport chip no, in the making, but it's housed, so it's not going to come just yet. <laughs> That's going to be an early landing. It's not even, even happening before the castle age here. So what's he gonna do? Scouts or towers or? <laughs> we have no idea. Scouts probably. They are making demo. Okay. Mm hmm. Interesting. Uh, Top is able to hide the transport ship though, uh, keeping air at home for the moment, only two galleys here, that's probably just a distraction here at this point. Yep, transport ship goes away, goes to the north, 
And Air Troll doesn't have any houses or presence in the north, so this is a... Oh, boom! Nice hit. I think it's more demos. Let's see demos. Great hit, see. Uh, Alright, transport ship is only, only sending the scout over. He landed with the scout and nothing else. <laughs> it's mind games, man. <laughs> Maybe he wants Airtel to react on land here. But AR is just making house. Another nice demo hit there. It's now 4 to 2 military, so Adolf still with less military. Okay, decent hit. Decent hit, yeah, it was fine, it was fine. And now a back no, dock. No, no, hmm. Let's look at the ship's count again. There's 8 to 7 for Airville now. But that's one transport ship as well, as well in the mix, so that's 6 warships. You know what? AR is about to click up. He's about to click oh. up. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's. Yeah, look at all of the transport, he's just trolling, he's... Alright, he's scouting with them, I guess, because uh, Airtel must see that there's no flag on that ship, so there's no no threat there. There's, there's so many fire ships. And still only galleys, what, what is this? What is this? Okay, his the faster speed is actually getting... Uh, actually, yeah. Okay, snipes the demo. Hmm. But AI is up. He is up. And I other wolf miles away. He didn't lose his fish though. Uh, nice hit and run. Yeah, I like it. Very good, very good. I mean, he has a back dock as well, so if he can get. I mean, this back dock is completely hidden from Airtel. And if he keeps. The AI is hitting the transport ship with the scout. <laughs> but Ada needs to go up. Because, uh, well, if he cleans the army, then it's you no know, problem. Because the AI is just full fire ship mode. No, he's, he's trapped. He's. Ah! Uh oh. Losing so many. Now well, let's look at the transport ship. Still taking hits. Might go down. Oh, this is beginning to get annoying. Aslage is in. Yeah. And Adolf, what do you do now? You click up. Yeah, he clicked up now, but. but... He can just keep microing. Yeah, I'm still hit and run potentially here. He has the numbers as well, he has 15 ships to 11 still. But. Yeah, but the, dogs, the dogs are going down. Yeah. Uh, still. The other guy is going far, make demos! Only Galleys mm. in the making. Is it 4 or 5 dogs for air? It's uh, 4 dogs. And the transport ship is at 6 HP. <laughs> Serving his purpose as a distraction, I guess. Um, six. Fire ship is in. So Adam is losing all of his army now. Yeah, he's definitely going to lose the water army here now. And Air Twelve can just chase. 
but the HP difference is notable here. There are one goes down as well. Nine to sixteen mildry now. He's losing all the docks. So, yeah. Well, he's dropping new docks, but Air Twelve should surely be aware that he might do something like that. No, actually, he scouted the back docks as well, so he knows something's up. Oh, that's a lot of fire shit. And they are switching to war galleys as well now. I mean, Adam, Adam doesn't have any wood. He can't make uh, ships with no wood. No, he's just dropping lots of docks. <laughs> That's castlational. But Air is sniping even more docks with his fire ships, and there's a lot of them by now. He's with yeah, 25 mil. There's no way to come back for, um, on water in the Yeah, it's 20, 25 military to 10. And his left side woodland as well. That's uh, there's more galleys from Air 12. They should easily snipe builders on the woodland that, by the way, still don't have loom. <laughs> oh. oh, you're right. <laughs> ah, no, I, I think this is over. Yeah, all the docks going down. So much wood wasted. Yep, GG. GG. Not the best uh, day for Adolf, it seems. He's on a uh, losing streak now, so he's. Uh... Going to cry himself to sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> Probably yes. Probably yes. Okay, man. It's fun to catch you. Yes, Probably. yes. Good to have you. And, uh, sorry, sorry that my voice has been like on my mic is so terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty low, but uh, yeah, oh, I hope they could still hear you. Yeah, I hope I could even hear something. It wasn't that. that Horrible. But yeah, what fun. Yeah. Thank you, man. Sure. Hope on some other time and we'll do some more casts. So yeah, see you around. Yes. Uh, see you. Them. What do we do then? I think I'll do one more cast before taking a dinner break here. And I'm going to cast a game submission.
now you can watch a true noob play. All right, man. Let's see, let's see. Cheap is Paul's teammate, indeed. I think so. Uh, Paul in the green here is the one who sent me this game. He is playing as the Mullions. Actually, I need to add the Sims as well. Uh, all right. So we have an uh, Arabia, right? Uh, just double checking. Arabia 1v1 one one here with uh, Palm in the green playing as Mullions against his. Uh, Teammate cheap playing as Turks. Now let me just suspect that this was a random sim matchup because why would you use Turks for a 1v1 one one Arabia? Not the most common pick. But uh, for a Turks player, cheap's map looks pretty awesome. He just uh, walls off a little bit here. He has a safe goal in the back here. Walls off a little bit here. He has another safe goal in the back here. And then his main goal could either be TC later or he walls off this side as well and he should be okay. He likes Turks using in the game against us as well. That's true. He used it on Golden Pit to not to his success for that game. They lost. <laughs> anyway, he only plays Turks for one one. Ha! Huh. All right. Well, people sure have their favorites. What I don't like about Chief's base here is that he has forward berries. So if Palm goes for any Drush or Men at Arms uh, aggression, militia aggression, uh, he could do some deal some damage to the berries here because they're forward. Uh, it's also quite a common play for Malians that do get one piece armor per range, so it's also harder to to fend off with um, with archers. Four on wood for palm that could suggest both men at arms and uh, scouts could be that's not really telling much just yet. Three on wood for the Turks player that's more in the likes of a uh, scout build here for him. His base is looks like he wants to go for some kind of wall of here with an idle villagers on the side here. What's his scouting in the like? He sees there's openings here and there he is nice scouting. He managed to get 14 plus with the uh, 1400 elo with the. Uh, Turks only one. Wow, okay. Cool, but he knows his sieve well, and I mean, these uh, one trick pony sieves can do still do quite well uh, when you find your way to play them comfort comfortably. Palm is on the scouting business as well. He is with one villager lead for now. Could it be Loom for Chip, maybe? No, not Loom. Just general idle time. That's probably the guy chilling out, walling on this side here that. Uh, Took some time getting back. Now going with five villagers is to the berries. I mean, surely he must have scouted the second boar as well. He has not scouted the second boar. It's just uh, hiding away one tile away from the fog of war there, but there we go. Cheap, you need to eat your meat, man. Unless you're playing it vegan style, you're taking the berries, but uh, you know, sheep kind of give it away. You like your meat, so you could get the second war as well. Who has hidden in the fog of war yet? He just really doesn't want to be eaten, this guy. Team colors might be good. Yeah, I can talk with team colors. I like original colors, colors better, but easy to switch to team colors, of course. Uh, Paul, where are you going? Uh, we're going to mill the deer, yeah, but that uh, makes sense. That's uh, some extra food here. He laid me. Oh, I missed that. So that's why he is uh, eating so much more meat and not taking his own milk. I was too focused on the Turks, play, Turks choice on the map. Yeah, I see he has two boars under the TC, so he brought them back. How rude, laming in a friendly game. That's certainly going to boost Cheap's food eco for the what still is looking like a scout's build for him. 
Um, it's also going to have trouble full walling his base on the, those new open area mountains. Looks like he's opting for some kind of man at arm style build here. He's uh, about to get the food for the thick app, he's uh, hunting and shouldn't be too far behind to the next age here. I think you should keep cheap out of your team for being a lamer boy. Okay, that's te text not readable at all, but it says scumbag under the under the board there on that emote. emote. So where are we going then? Just a stray shepherd doing his thing here. Yeah, it's going to be preemptive walling from Palm here. He's about to eat the last deer, so this mill certainly works out for him. The mill also being cheaper for Malians. Generally, their wood buildings are cheaper, except for the farms and. Well, that's probably about it. Doesn't say anything about exceptions. So it's at 23 pop up for Palm here. The barracks is up, but uh, not any production. So maybe he is actually going for some other build as well. Could be straight archers, could be scouts. It's eight on food, decent enough for a few scouts here. But cheap is up, so let's toggle his base and have a look here. Delete some pallets. It's probably going to drop the stables now, or stable rather. And he's also going for the full wall approach here with Turks, even double palisade being in the back here. So he wants to be safe from any early aggression from Palm here. So it's another barracks from Palm here. So let's see what the idea is here. You could of course mass, uh, spearman, militia, something. <laughs> I adjusted the straight archers and then accidentally built the second barracks. Oh. Well, I mean, at least with Malians, it's not the worst thing you can do. You could even fend off archers with, <laughs> with your own men at arms. And uh, now of course the Turks player is going for the scouts. So you would have an easier time um, getting more spearmen out as well. And it's of course going to have your opponent puzzled to see that you are in fact dropping two barracks, not just one. Here come the scouts. Cheap bales on that one for now, his initial scout is uh, kind of weakened here. Here comes the second range as well, so... Malians really look at the wood count still after dropping all these buildings, it's pretty, still pretty decent. Only a couple of farms here, four on gold, should have no big trouble uh, getting to the archer's production here at home. So it's only, is it only two scouts for cheap for now? He's with two military. So, could be some mind games going on here. It's uh, two scouts, full wall, fast castle. Who knows? It's not really gone to gold yet though, so maybe it's just forgotten to uh, produce scouts. There we go, there are two more scouts in the queue. Uh, in the meantime though, Palm is producing spearmen from... His production is getting some archers out as well, and he has the blacksmith up, so he might be going for the fletching soon enough, and that should mean that the archers should more easily contest the scouts as well. Going back to the berries now, and the full wall is in progress, so once Chip brings in his last few scouts here, the spearman can fend off this direction, uh, this section not yet wall. This looks like, looks like there could be a gap here now. Uh, maybe not. That sound, that's just my mouse plugging and unplugging because the USB is going pretty bad. <laughs> Knowing me, there's usually a gap. Yeah, for now it's a gap here at least, but I guess he couldn't find a way through the houses here. 
<laughs> we call them palm walls on my team. <laughs> yeah. Got to hate the fact that there are walls. At least the scouts can't teleport through walls anymore, so... Should be fairly okay here. Holy! Uh, armor kicking in for cheap here, so he's going to invest into even more scouts here. Could be going into the light cab later on that this is the long term play for him, but maybe not too bad against Malian's player going uh, archers, but there's two barracks as well. Although accidental, that could prove a nice defense against uh, mass scouts. Long lines and uh, horse color just now kicking in for cheap. That usually was something you get uh, right after feudal. So he may have been struggling a little bit with his food or wood eco reaching village. Both players completely won in their sides now, so the early aggression isn't going to pay off for either of them. However, archers <coughs> now ready to go forward for palm here. There's 11 archers with fletching, no armor just yet, but he's uh, producing even more numbers. And looks like Cheap's Eco is uh, safe from Archer's Fire for now. But 11 Archer's could break through Palisades and still cause trouble. Might want to go for for this side where Gold is. And his scout is on point, looking for entry points here. And I think the Archer is moving forward if uh, Cheap scouts this he will have to address the archers coming in here nice pick off there by um, palms archers taking the scout of cheap and now going to try and force an entry here or not <laughs> this would be the perfect entry point actually because then you'd have the heal to deal extra damage with the heal bonus but instead goes around to try and find an opening in the walls or another entry point here, maybe hoping that there could be a gap in the end here, so I can understand why he would task the units that way. Seven, eight scouts total for cheap here, and he has attack and armor upgrades, but against this mass of archers, still going to be kind of tough here. Yeah, I'm going to try and switch USB ports, see if it helps a little bit here, but... My... Mouse is getting old, so I need to get a new one. I might just take my bike and get a new one as soon as possible. So Scout's taking a fight here, unfavorable for them. Uh, Palm is stacking his archers up and fighting off lots of... Look at all the Scout's corpses here. That's a great fight for Palm and the KD shows uh, 7 to 9, but that's kind of a deceiving since he's been uh, taking off lots of food eco here. Now backing off towards the hill, still consistent archer's production at home as well, so he has reinforcements to come in once he gets to the castage, which is on the way to reach here. And Cheap, investing into so many scouts, uh, is uh, going to wait uh, for a little longer to get to the castage, and he is with 26 farms, so he's going to have the food eco to click up soon as well, but he will be lagging behind at least 50% here uh, towards his opponent. So Palm extending his snow is moving to another woodland here with his uh, villagers and uh, meanwhile the scouts of Cheap will try to find another uh, entry point yet again on the side of Palm's wall but the barracks, uh, sorry the ranges are loaded with archers here so with Palm and Garrison's on the backside here he could uh, pick off even more scouts without being in uh, threat of being hit by the scouts of Cheap here. Actually keeps the archers inside for now, doesn't uh, take any fights just yet. Um, careful with the gate here though, don't let them in. Yeah, two archers go down there. Could have been saved by ungarrisoning the rest of their army, I think, but I think Paul might be focused on his forward as well, trying to get some hits in on the wood line. But uh, Jeep's eco is just uh, too far behind the walls here for the archers to reach them. Scouts will be coming back. It's nine scouts now. They will be light cap once uh, Jeep hits Castlage. So this could be huge. But crossbow is in for Palm, and if he cleans this up before Castlage kicks in, he should be very much fine still. 
Yeah, that was a nice choke point for Palm there. He now brings his uh, crossbows from home, 40 more crossbows to flank as well. But again, those are going to be 8 light cav against 7 crossbows on this side, so that's a fight that the chief could have taken, although that would mean significant losses uh, overall. Light cab is in, and you see much more attack and still a few defensive grade kicking in here, and it looks like there's going to be a cavalry archer's transition for cheap here, only one range for the time being. <clears throat> he's a bit low on wood to uh, drop more protection buildings, and he's pretty heavily invested in the farm, so the choice of cab archers is uh, kind of odd to me, considering uh, he had the eco setup for. Uh, Huge food income and could have gone into uh, maybe mass knights instead. Torch knights should be just finding castle age. But he might want uh, range for skirms against crossbows as well, of course. But first skirms, nothing special. Defensive tower on the goal for cheaper now and wants to be a, bit, a little bit safer against the crossbow forward here. I am uh, missing some forward siege or something from Palm at this point. What's his eco setup like? Is yeah, steadily committing to crossbow numbers still. But in the event of defensive siege being added by cheap here, those uh, crossbows would still struggle for Palm here, I believe. Palisade gate goes down, so the crossbows, a significant amount of crossbows now, is um, allowed to run into Chief Space, who is now with the uh, two ranges producing cab archers. Not optimal against uh, crossbows, even with the hit and run potential, they are with one less range. And here comes the defensive siege for her one that could be denied by Palm if he gets close enough to see it. Uh, but uh, yeah, the foundation's gonna go up before Palm get there. Nice house walling by Cheap here as well. Palm just to back off, and here comes the siege force up on the hill, as mentioned earlier, that you want to pressure further with some siege and take uh, some map space, some control on the hill there. And it's definitely Palm dictating the pace of the game here now. He is the one who's going to tell whether you take the fights or not, and he's chilling out on the hill here with a mass of 30 crossbows. So it's not going to be an easy nut to crack here. He could consider adding uh, something against the uh, cab archers here. What would be really fun to see is, uh, is uh, Paul making use of his uh, two barracks at home and going for some long swords as well. The long swords and siege here, but Fudiko isn't really allowing that while I'm booming. For Palm, who is now on. It's on two TCs at least, yeah. So he's playing two TCs against one at the moment, so that should impact the army mass production for cheap. He's floating uh, more wood, of course, this is uh, not gone into multiple TCs and production and farm eco like that. Well, it does have a significant amount of farms, but. 17 cow archers now, but knights are in the mix from Palm as well, but they're missing all the upgrades here, so they should be uh, easy meat for the cow archers or even light cab here. Sheep gets housed in the process of production here, and Palm is missing just a little bit of wood to add some siege on the hill here, not just yet doing so. Is he, is he adjusting with the market maybe? Or committing to steal more crossbows. It is beginning to become a significant mass of crossbows here against uh, 10 light cab and uh, some cab archers from uh, cheap. Now getting some nice raids in here, giving the two builders almost for free here. This woodland should also be subject to cab archer fire here. Palm is forced to leave his hill now and bring his army back to try and deal with his cavalry raids, but his uh, north side eco seems very fine against the aggression still. Pulls off this wood line and has extended to the right hand side now to the corner to take even more wood there on the last wood line on the south side, something that uh, Jeep barely has scouted, so that should be safe for now for Palm. 
But we have a mass of light camp and camera archers here. I like the combination because the light camp can soak arrow fire from from the crossbows. And two sneaky magnets here. Oh, Palm sees it in time. Fortunately, he is going to dodge the shots, I think. It's downhill shots now. It's a great shot from a uh, jeep there. Look at these corpses of the crossbows. And just like that, the military numbers are even out a bit. It's still 37 to 27 for Palm here. And. Uh, Cab archers chasing Palm, not really hit and running here. The light cab are obstructing the path here, but at least all knights are dealing with this. They have plus one now. Knights should be focusing the mangles here at this point, I think. But the cab archers are getting serious hits in still. There's only one pierce armor for the knights. But mangles go down, so still a nice defense from Palm here with 20 crossbows still alive and keeps the military lead here with 23 to 13. Score pretty dead even here though. It's cheap with a few more kills. It's 55 to 41 here. He may have picked off a few more villagers as well, but Palm is still with the villager lead. He is on a 3 DC boom after all against the 1 TC Turks play here. As cheap is dropping in another uh, archery range to replenish his cab archer's numbers. And I think his uh, eco setup should support that nicely with 17 on wood and 17 on gold. Palm needs a skirm transition. Yeah, true, the Ghost, but then then again there are a light cab option in the mix for cheap, so he already has the counter to Skirms. Oh, finds an opening here. This could be devastating for Palm. Some cab archers raids coming in and his crossbow's army is really not that mobile. But they are at home, so they could actually chill. Cheap pulls back out, he wants to preserve his cab archers numbers. Until he can get to the next stage, which is uh, pretty far away from the click. Just still. <clears throat> so it's beginning to become a threatening mass of cab archers here. It looks like 24 or 25 something cab archers for cheap here as Palm tries to drop a very ballsy forward TC here in the midst of a um, cab archer mass here. But here comes his army around, crossbows and knights, uh, and some uh, light cab of his own here. And uh, see George up on the hill, I guess that's a Magnodon. Two Magnodons inside it. Oh, young Garrison, get the hit! Hunger is now on fire, and you could have the hit of your lifetime here with the uh, Magnodons. Ah, uh, a bit too late. But uh, Palm still has the heal, he's taking the advantage now. Could use the RV even more actively here, I think. But there is an opening here, Knights could run into Raid as well here. This eco is very close, and it's a 1TC eco and 1-3 going up as I say that. But uh, Chief is keeping his numbers nice and uh, he's here picking off crossbows actually with the cab archers here. I think it's a mistake of Palm to go off the hill here. Although he does get some kills, but the fight is uh, horrible in Palm's favor here. The cab archers are just outnumbering and taking great kills here, 72 to 53 right out. Here come the knight and light cab raids. will pick off quite a few villagers here and that's going to be devastating for Chief who is almost down 40 villagers at this point. Palm seriously outmoving his opponent and uh, just needs to reseed some farms and keep the ego going. But the uh, cheap on the other hand, 1 TC production, losing lots of builder here, is going to the Imperial with this 1 TC eco here. There's also massed quite a few on stone here that suggest a castle drop of some sort. Going into the Janissaries maybe. Chemistry for free for Turks as well, so you could go straight into Bomber Cannons or uh, some other significant siege. Some nice use of cavalry archers, splitting up his army to raid the sites again. And Palm actually got this uh, forward TC up here, so he is with four TCs total now. But he's also up against a uh, whopping 35 cav archers here. Committing to cast stage play, it's not a bad idea if you could uh, have a uh, Larger military numbers overall, and some Magnus on the hill getting some decent shots here, here. But this is the group they need to target, and uh, Cheap dodges most of the shots there. So nice clean up again from Cheap. It's 27 to 23 play here now. A forward archer range from Palmy is still is committing to his crossbow play, but is also heavily housed in the process here. 
Pogba and uh, Stone on his own. If he can get the castle drop on this hill, that's going to be huge for him once he can get to the Imperial himself, because then he has the perfect spot for to start a trap war. But Imperial Age is about to kick in for cheap here. He's dropping his siege workshop. Uh, might want to get some uh, bombard cannons out, I guess, since he's with the second siege workshop here, or just more mangonels to deal with the uh, crossbows. Never take a fight, you don't have to when you're all the way up to him. Learn that the one the hard way a few times. Yeah, true. <laughs> Losing uh, all of the army while going up to the that's just... can be disastrous for your game. I've been, been there, done that as well. Light cloud, crossbows, couple of knights coming forward now. I think it's right to move on Palm to move forward now, considering that his opponent just reached him. Palm not too far away from the Imperial Age click either. I like he keeps the light cab in the front here to tank Cavalry Fire, but uh, yeah, goes back to the hill and uh, finally the Imperial Age click for Palm as well. Looks like he spent stone on a defensive castle. Simply sold stone to get to the Imperial Age, that's probably the case here. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, he sold the stone to click up, but of course, pretty darn even still. More military for Palm, more kills for cheap. Definitely more villagers problems with the 50 villagers lead, uh, so as long as he can hold on and sustain his boom, he's definitely going to win this game long term since his opponent is still on 1 TC eco. Lightcaps running into chase now, looks like Pop wants kind of us around here, but there's a forward castle for cheap here. And uh, Lightcap might very well be able to. Well, at the very least, delay that, maybe even deny that. This is huge for Palm to deny this extremely ballsy forward castle of cheap here. But I think the quick one. Oh, this is a. What is popularly called a doubt castle. Cowatcher's number will go down as well. Castle denied, that is GG if he denies it. Yeah. A true doubt castle here, but uh, Palm is losing numbers as well. He is with 24 military against 33 now. Are those heavy cavalrys yet? No, they definitely aren't. Let's look at Cheap's eco. He is in no position whatsoever to. I was going to say resource it, but of course he has it in the queue behind the cavalry archer here, so that's why his resources are so low. And some nice raids of Palm forward while denying the castle drop by his home base. Now Palm needs to rush up some walls around this foundation just to make sure this doesn't go up. Imperial Age about to click it. Uh, Kick in for Palm, he's dropping a TC on the gold on the side here, so he must be starving for gold here. Really going for the map control here, going here and there, and now it's cheap taking the hill here. He has the score lead as well. Could be a bit of text and those things playing in, and definitely the KD count here. He's been picking off crossbows like crazy. This foundation could still go up. Is Sending builders to the corner for the moment, but he's going to loop them around and send them towards the castle, I think. And now with 22 heavy cavalry archers to back it. I like the way Palm is taking map control here, though, on the neutral uh, woodlands, golds, everything. He is really securing some uh, long term resource income for himself. He is with higher population as well, but that is, of course, mainly builders because he doesn't have barely has any builders at all. And now I think with even with only three builders, this. Castle will go up, but defensive castle comes up in the response from Palm. Partly on the hill there, get some traps out on the hill here, and you will batter down this castle easily. I do find uh, Jeep's army threatening though, he is with uh, 39 military. I guess that's exclusively, exclusively cow archers here. Fantastic raiding unit, although they fire slowly when you turn it around. Castle goes up for both players here. It's probably going to be a tribe war at this point. The fact that uh, Turks have uh, free chemistry and also like a, also a, a sort of handgun there as their unique unit that kind of negates the possibility for Palm to go uh, barracks units with their Peter's armor against the uh, cavalrys as well. But Cavalier is coming in. Let's see if Palm will eventually go for Farimba as well. Sheep is getting Sipahi. I need to check what that one is actually. It's Cavalier Archers plus 20 HP, so it's really investing into his Cavalier here. 
could even opt for some bombard towers and uh, forward now with the uh, cast fire to cover it. But this eco is interpreted is still looks like on one TC here, but now dropping a second one on the wood line, so he's extending his economy finally here at the 50 minute mark. He's been investing mainly in military and is doing a mass of 40 ish cav archers here. And these numbers they could even take down TCs, I think. They don't need to worry too much about TC fire, although it's kind of wasteful. Cavaliers with plus six now, so Pyrrhia budget, Pyrrhia just kicked in if can. Palm can get this around here, you can get some nice pickoffs on the cow watchers here. And this is the only army of uh, Jeep at the moment, is uh, committing completely to cow watchers here, but brings in some bomber cannons to deal with the uh, castle of Palm as well. Palm's eco like at the moment, he could afford a couple of traps, so he could challenge this castle in that way, but with bomber cannons on the field, he needs to snipe the bombard cannons as well for traps to be really efficient. Yeah, heavy cover to from Turk. No joke here. And they are going to snipe at DC here. This is pretty crazy. They have 7 plus 4 attack. And with unique tech, though, you're even getting more HP. TC goes down, and uh, Palm is massing uh, Stevens like crazy here. He is uh, doing a mix of Light Cab and uh, Cavalier to maximize his production here and try to. Focus down the cavalry. Actually, the only thing Paul needs to do here is focus down Jeep's RB because once he does, if he snipes the bomber cans as well, that uh, leaves uh, Jeep with uh, barely any eco to replenish his numbers. He is producing still, of course, but that's from four ranges. And if he loses all of his 30 cavalry here, then uh, it's looking grim for him. Jeep actually taking his hill here though, so he's uh, finally contesting the hill near his base and is uh, assuming control of that one. It will then be with two castles as well, and his population is. Kind of catching up, he's with, still with 50 villagers less though, so this should mean Palm has lots more resources to um, challenge the armies here. The castle goes up on the hill, Palm needs to withdraw here. Yeah, he's fighting with cavalry under castle fire and cavalry fire, so this is going to cause serious losses for Palm here. He does attack the castle with his fire in the cavalier though, and they had the uh, uh, 7 attacks total, so that's no joke overall. Now they're chasing the Cavarches yet again. You know, maybe it's to uh, get to a surround here, not allow the Cavarches to take a choke point. Maybe attack this group instead, just to uh, finish them off. Castle almost down for Palm there, no, uh, no repairs begun for now. I think yeah, Palm is picking off numbers effectively here, but here are some Hussars for or one Hussar from TP on the side. Score <laughs> dead even still. KD 230 for TP here, so he's really taking uh, that one to the uh, to his favor. He's trying to take the neutral world here. We'll probably notice that Palm is here as well, and maybe send the Hussar over to get some free kills here. Palm keeping his builder and military counts consistently high though, his base is now open and uh, could be subject to Cavalcher raids here. Cavalcher staying in a choke point here by the castle. But now a tribe firing from the hill from Palm here, so and cheap he won't be able to repair this castle, he doesn't have any villagers nearby. Some blue here that's mainly villagers for cheap, they're just uh, peacefully sharing this gold here. Doesn't need to be enemies everywhere. Palm raiding. Ah. Yeah, that's going to shift the favors here. Will their numbers will be dwindling for cheap here? He is down to 86 population here. And it's with what well, I think is still only two TCs total. Don't think he has any means to deal with this one. That's the danger of uh, cavalry sims like this late game for Turks as well. They don't have access to anything else than spearmen. So when dealing with these kinds of raids. You need to opt for camels, and there's only a couple of stables for cheap now, and he's still committing to the cap archer play. Yep, that's GG indeed. This uh, raid, perfect timing for Palm there, while cheap is busy forwarding and paying attention to his castle and his armies here. Palm was constantly picking off cap archers, shifting the military numbers in his favor, keeping the consistent high villager lead here. And finally, sending some raids in into Chief's very vulnerable 
what used to be one TC eco until the 50 minute mark. So Jeep was much more dependent on raiding and uh, restricting the boom on palm here and look at all this uh, farm eco for palm here is very much fine for the late game setup here. So GG well played. KD in Jeep's favor in the end. Eco not so much. That's the 50 builder more builder high for palm paving off there. It's a bit easier to boom with Malians as well because uh, you save wood for all kinds of buildings. So you could more easily place lots of farms like he's done here. Yeah, nice to see. <laughs> interesting to see the army spikes here, the numbers going up and down for both players. Palm at an all-time low here with getting back into it and finally taking the game. So, um, I think I'm going to call the stream at that for now. I really need to replace my computer mouse to stop getting this disconnect sound all the time. And, but I really still think I will be back with streaming a bit later after having some dinner and stuff. Might be playing some team games, might be streaming some more games or simply cast random games from the ladder. So um, feel free to stop by some other time. I'll be back before you know it. And uh, thanks for the game, Paul. Good game.